Welcome to the Moving Pictures studio, Emma Roberts, Gavin Veeson, Elizabeth Reese, and Blair Underwood. Firstly, congratulations on having the film at Sundance. What did you first think when someone said to you, hey Gav, it's, it's, it's in, we've got, we've got into Sundance? I mean, I wish I had a better story for it, but I, I was so shocked, really, and excited that I left my body and I, <laughs> I heard my voice talking to the guy on the other end of the line. And one of the first things I said was, I apologize for sounding so strange, but I can't feel my toes. I don't know what's happening right now. <laughs> Emma, you've uh, been involved in so many films over the last couple of years. It seems like all you're doing is working. How do you dissect or, or distinguish between projects coming in? And so what happened when you first met Gavin that made you think, yeah, I do want to do this? Um, for me, I'm the kind of person that like, if I don't like something by page 10, I have a really hard time getting into it. And so this is the kind of script that kind of just drew me in um, from the first page and kept my interest. And I just really loved how honest Gavin made all the characters and how relatable I felt like everyone was. And, um, as a, like a young woman, I feel like a lot of parts written for young girls don't capture the voice of a young woman and how like we actually are and I think he did an amazing job so that's why I really liked my character Sally in it. I think it is rare to see a character or a lead character who's so inclusive, who tries to include people around her that she finds interesting. Um, that confidence to give confidence to other people, is that something that's more like you personally or would it one of the other of the four kind of main <laughs> one of the four other main characters would they have suited you better on a personal level no i think yeah sally was definitely uh that's why i loved her so much is i really related to her in so many ways just because um i feel like in a lot of movies where there's teenagers people try to like say this person's a geek and this person's popular and this person's this and with sally like there was so much more to her than just one thing, and I liked that a lot. Yeah. Blair, as an authority figure in this film, um, the personal relationship you take on with Freddie Highmore's character, like what, what was it about that that kind of tweaked your interest as well? Were you, were you also one of these people who said, you've got an offer, let's, let's, uh, that y this is a film you should do? No, well, I heard about this film, that was a film I should do, and then it was about sitting down with Gavin, convincing him that, please hire me <laughs> <laughs> to be in your film. <laughs> Um, because it was, my, my agent just raved about the script and how wonderful it was and, and just how heartfelt it was and, and, and clear it wasn't specific, it was a personal vision um, from Gavin writing and directing it and I very much wanted to be a part of it. But also Gavin and I were just talking about those authoritative figures in our life and either we have had those or we hope to have those who really push us and challenge us and, and, and see the, 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 the potential but still you know, they do it with a, a loving tone or a caring tone. Have you had similar, have you had mentors throughout your career for acting specifically? No, nah, not at all. <laughs> um, no, I, no, I did. Uh, no, I have, actually I've had a lot of, I call them angels, yeah. throughout my life, hmm. throughout my career, who, who thought enough of me to not let me slack off. You know, there was Miss Manigo in high school, there were acting teachers along the way, there was Miss Williams who was the hottest typing teacher, she motivated me in different ways. Um, <laughs> love you babe. Um, but yeah, but there were, there were a couple along the way who just really pushed and believed.